Let's prove that the set of irrational numbers is uncountable. Um, but what does that mean? Fine, let's break it down. Irrational numbers are numbers that cannot be represented by a fraction a divided by b, where a and b are integers, as opposed to rational numbers, which can be represented by fractions. Irrational numbers have an infinite number of decimal places. One example is pi. We know it as 3.14159265358 and so on, and these decimal places go on forever, with no repeating pattern. Now, what does it mean for a set to be countable? Well, a set is countable when it can be mapped to the natural numbers in a one-to-one -one mapping. This means you can number all the elements in a countable set using only non-negative whole numbers. An example is the set of all integers, or positive and negative whole numbers. Take a look at it. Zero maps to zero. Positive integers map to the even numbers, like one maps to two and two maps to four. And negative integers map to the odd numbers, like negative one maps to three and negative two maps to five. Then why are the irrationals uncountable? Well, let's suppose that they weren't. Then you could list out all the possible irrational numbers. Here's an example. Now I'm going to make a number that's not on this list. Take the first digit of the first number and add one. Then the second digit of the second number, then the third, and so on for every entry in the list. I've just created an irrational number that differs by at least one digit from all the other numbers on the list. That should be impossible though, because I thought we listed all of them. Let's add this number to the list. But if you repeat the process, you'll again get a number that's different from all the numbers in the list. This is why it's impossible to make a numbered list of the irrationals, and hence they are uncountable. Hope you learned something. Stay curious, and I'll see you in the next one.